um, and often it feels uncomfortable to make and I guess, um, but then there's also humor, I think, and kind of lightness to it and they both exist just the way kind of I operate, I guess, you know, like feeling super um, uncomfortable and, and again trapped, but then maybe a way to like see, to get out of it is trying to do a sort of bird's eye view um, on, on flow of people's uh, goods, energies, and, and the systems that we are kind of interact with, even if we don't really want to. Um, and it, the way I find is uh, that kind of elevation bird's view, which is usually humor is, is a way to, to do that, um, because humor in a way, it creates a kind of detachment from things. Um, so we're allowed to laugh at this? Yeah, <laughs> and cry. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, no, no. I mean, I think I think many people walk into walk into a contemporary art space uh, and see this work that can be quite uh, immersive and overwhelming in certain ways, right? And laughing is often understood not to be necessarily one of the things that you're allowed to do in that space. So I think it's important <coughs> to emphasize that humor is a way for you to crack open these mm -hmm. uh, these systems, right? That yeah. have become even stranger now in the in the wake of the, the pandemic. And how do you see how do you see your explanation of those systems that are, you're going to see in the three main videos, as well as in these interactive sculptures? We invite you to uh, to crank and pedal uh, so that you can do pointless work on behalf of the exhibition. Um, and uh, how do you how do you explain your progression from your, your, your concerns there into remote now in this teacher film program? Um, yeah, I think. Those works particularly, I was interested in kind of combining fact and fiction uh, and kind of a subjective psychological space and more like social or more political space and trying to find a hybrid place. Um, so, so, so that was, and that all happened you know, before 2016 or as, like, until then. And then suddenly fact and fiction became such a big part of um, politics and, and press and all that, so that was really a weird moment where I felt like kind of questioning my role as an artist uh, and, you know, artists in a way tell a lot like fiction and fiction is a way to tell lies uh, and as an artist I was comfortable doing that and blending like a reality and, and fabricate what's fabricated and in a way everything is fabricated, right? Like this store is, that's, is fabricated, a commercial is fabricated. Um, try to kind of uh, play with that and then uh, it was a process of then feeling like okay maybe I could just explore just fiction without uh, without that mix of documentary fiction blend um, and then also